Hi, I'm Ben Vallack and I have a small YouTube channel where I make films about design, usability and workflow. And ZSA very kindly invited me to make a few films for them about their new Moonlander keyboard. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to actually set up the tent shape of the keyboard, which you might find makes it more comfortable to use. So the first thing we need to do is loosen the side screws for the legs, which you can just do with your thumb. You just undo them, they're both anti-clockwise. So then we're gonna grab the hex key and loosen the thumb cluster screws. So this is important to get right because the threads are reversed on one side to avoid the weight of the keyboard actually loosening that thread. So what you wanna do is always lift the hex key to loosen. So the left half of the keyboard is actually loosening clockwise and the right half of the keyboard is loosening anti-clockwise. So what we do now is actually find the angle of the keyboard that we want to keep it at. So we're going to lift up the inside edge of the keyboard, keeping the outer edge flush with your desk. And then we can deploy the leg to keep it at that height and tighten up the thumb screw by hand. So what we do now is actually pick the keyboard up, bend the thumb cluster down because the screw is still loose. So as we place it back down onto the desk, we get that Moonlander experience where the thumb cluster will just expand out to find the right position based on the angle that you set for the leg. So remember the thumb cluster screw on the left half of the keyboard tightens anti-clockwise or pushing down. And on the right half, it tightens clockwise, again, pushing down. And that's it. So you can do that pretty quickly once you know the drill, making sure that it's dead flat against the sides and the thumb cluster matching the, the angle uh, required by the, the leg, you know it's dead stable and it's got those four points of contact. So if you want to remove those wings, which are the wrist supports, you can easily do that too. If you take a look inside the hinge, you'll see two flat edges, one on the keyboard side and one on the, uh, the, the wing side of the pivot. So if you hold it so those flat edges are flush together, you'll see you can actually just slide the wing down and then the other side will just pop out and you can ping it out. So what's cool about the adjustable angle on the thumb cluster is it actually works the other way around. So if you find it a bit of a stretch in this tented configuration, uh, if you've got slightly smaller hands and you want to bring the thumb cluster a little bit nearer, you can lay the keyboard flat on the desk and then lift the thumb cluster up, which makes them a little bit easier to, to hit with your thumb if you've got smaller hands. Just remember you're lifting with the hex key to loosen on both cases, which means clockwise to loosen on the left half of the keyboard. So ZSA very kindly let me keep this keyboard in exchange for making these films. So I will be doing a full review of it. It's a very interesting keyboard and I've got lots to say about it. So join me on my channel for that. Mm -hmm. 